Let me ask you a question. Looking at this footage, what music would you choose to play under it? I know many YouTubers, I'm not gonna call any names, that unfortunately be okay with music like this one. Or this one. Even this one. Those YouTubers will explain that they choose music that is in fashion today and they don't want to go too niche because there is a chance that not many people will like it. Obviously those people have no idea what they're doing. This footage demands a very specific kind of music. This music is definitely niche. So when people ask me how do I choose music for my videos, I say that I hear the music in my head, just by looking at this footage. My job is just to find that music in the real world. But here's the thing, this music that you hear right now will never work with this footage. It's ridiculous. This footage asks for something like this. The only problem with this music is that it feels like background music. And I hate background music. I hate the whole term. Music is way too important to just be in the background. I like to choose unignorable music. I want it to be dominant and powerful. Music that will demand my editing to dance on it. It's gonna sound something like this. Now that's not a background music. In this video that I called Awe of New York, I wanted to express my amazement of the city. None of the conventional B-roll music that everyone on YouTube uses was able to express that awe that I wanted. I had to dig much deeper. And after hours of digging, I found my gold. If you're editing something and you're bored, it's because you're doing the same old shit you've been doing before. You've got to find music that you love, because it will give you that spark of newness that you just can't get from music that everyone is using. There are phrases in music that mean something, they really do mean something, and they push a button in us, an emotional button in us. Let's take a look at this footage. Here is what I think most editors will do to this footage. But you see, I think this style of editing and this music is butchering all the magic out of this footage. This footage is amazingly surreal and mysterious. This music does not express the vastness and the mystery of this place. It's just another electronic track. Now let's try to go to a different direction. different, huh? The two musics not only feel different, but they give a completely different meaning to the video. This music says, I'm a happy video about some vacation somewhere. And 
this music says there is some magical mystery in here. This video feels like a vlog. And this video feels like a perfume commercial, or maybe a intro for a movie. One more example. Hmm, there is something dodgy going on here. That's the feeling that this music gives. But let me re-edit this with a different music and change the whole meaning. By the way, if you like the effects that I'm using here, I offer them in the description of this video. Music has meaning and it gives meaning. For example, putting this music under Hitler will make the whole thing feel dark and scary. This music will make it feel like a Nazi propaganda. The purpose of film music is very simple you invite the audience in and you say to them, I give you the opportunity to feel something. I'm not going to tell you what to feel. That would be patronizing and horrible. But just the simple fact that there's a single note going on should just open a little door that lets you in and you get to complete the tune in a funny way. You as the audience get to complete the emotion. You get to go and complete the journey. Our brains are super fast in recognizing music. And not only that we recognize it, it also affects us emotionally, almost immediately. A study that I will link below found that most people can recognize this song in 2.2 seconds. And this one. And this one. That's why when I choose music, I always ask myself what music it reminds me of. For example, the music that I chose for my New York montage reminds me of... That's right. The montage with the car reminds me of... Even if your audience will not have the same exact associations you have, they will still understand your intent, because it speaks in a cinematic language. Finally, a lot of people ask me how do I deal with copyright issues. Look, if a project that I'm working on demands a specific copyrighted music, I will go for it. I don't care. Even though I won't get money for this video, I will get to enjoy my editing. And hopefully, my audience will as well. Treat your audience as intelligent human beings that have their autonomous emotions and just for a moment provide the opportunity to feel something. Okay, so hopefully this video was useful for you. If it was, consider subscribing and leaving a comment about what exactly you liked in this video so I will know to do more in the future. Thank you very much for watching and have a great musical day.